Oh, this hurts. Yeah, I'm not really sitting on it, I'm just squatting. <laughs> anyway, hello and welcome to new parenting training. Uh, so today we're going to talk about this Velo Felipa 4-in-1 toddler trike. So we got this because uh, our kid right now is like uh, over two years old. So this thing is good for kids that's two to five. Maximum weight is at 55. So the maximum weight is 55. How they come up with that is the, the car itself is 11 pounds. And then the rider maximum weight is at 44. So the total maximum weight is 55. Now I think they should clarify that on their website. Anyway, we got this because this has really good review online and it's relative affordable. It's under $100 at the time of filming. This one has a lot of function for our kid. You know, our kid right now is, like I said, it's over two and we want him to kind of transition into uh, pedaling and maybe do some balance biking and whatnot. So we want to introduce him to something new and gradually maybe down to uh, get him a bicycle down the road. So today I'm going to talk about this tricycle and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So right out of the box, the installation is relative straightforward. You just have to follow the guide. Now for, I just want to let you know there's a lot of parts in there. So it will take you some time for you to assemble this. I think it took me about like uh, 15 to 20 minutes to assemble, fully assemble this tricycle. There are some stuff that you need to keep in mind of when you're assembling this tricycle. For one, the front guard needs to be installed uh, when you are installing the front. So I forgot to do that and when the whole front was installed, then I need to take it apart and then put the front guard on. For the handlebar on top, there is actually a directional that you need to follow. Uh, the part where there's a groove on underneath the bar that part need to go uh, as you can see it need to go under not on the top where you can see that and last thing i wanted to mention is the wheels the wheels are a little bit tricky at first because um things the way that they set up is very hard to understand from the instruction that they have given so what you need to do is to press the blue button and then push down the wheel in order to turn the wheel the way the direction that you want it to. You have to pull the wheels out if you want to set it into a tricycle mode. So some of the function that is worth mentioning is toward the back of the tricycle there is the brake where you push down and it makes the back end kind of hard to push around but you can still push it but it won't it will not move as uh, smooth as it should have. So you have to lift the tap in order to break it free. The handlebar, when you when the adult pushing the car, you can actually uh, manually adjust the direction. It's very easy to maneuver. Uh, so it's, it helps even though uh, the kid doesn't know which direction to go, you can still guide the kid to go that direction by using the handlebar. So the handlebar has two settings where you can adjust. So you can change it to the desired height by doing so. The difference is very minimal. Now for the front here, the front wheel, there is a lock here. Now, as you can see when you're pushing the car, like the pedal, if you want the kid to pedal, you can lock this in place. If you unlock it, then this pedal, when your kid is pedaling, it doesn't do anything. So it helps when your kid is trying to pedal but doesn't have enough strength. So he can just practice. This part can fold up. So either your kid can put the feet here or fold it up, then uh, he or she can try to pedal the, the tricycle. Now, this thing is called 4 in 1. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what the 4 is because I can only see three different mold for this particular tricycle. Now for one mold, quite literally just take out the handlebar. So that way it went from a pushing car just straight into a tricycle for the kid to just play by himself. Now the way that you do it is just take out the handlebar.
Now there is a cap on the meat here where you can pull, pull that off. And this cap can cap the top where the handlebar was. So in, in case you want, doesn't want any dust or water getting inside here, then you can use that cover to cover it up. So now all of a sudden it just changed into a tricycle. So now from the tricycle part, you can actually turn this into a balanced bike. Now the way that you do it is first you need to have a screwdriver and there are three screws on top. We'll use the screwdriver that provided by the tricycle. Uh, they do provide you with one. So. Now take this apart, the seat comes off and there's a little smaller seat on there. And what you need to do next is to take out the steps. And also the pedals. Now the way that you take out the pedals, there's a button on the bottom. You push it up and you pull. Like so. Okay, so now to turn into a balanced bike, the back end has to come back as well. So the way that you do it, again, you press the blue button here on the side, push the wheel down, and then turn. Do the same for this side. And then this two blue buttons, and now voila. Now it turned into a balanced bike. So this is actually pretty cool. Alright, so the only thing left now is to kind of take it out for our kid to play around and see how he likes this. Be right back. Alright, so let's talk about some of the things I like and dislike about this Beetle. Now for one thing, you cannot beat the price. The price, it gives you a lot of value for this price range. It's under $100. Now, I do like the design, how you can flip it around and then you can turn from a pushing bike to a tricycle and all the way to a balanced bike. Now this is a good transition for kids that's two to five years old. So this bike definitely will grow with the kid. And another thing I like about this tricycle is it has brakes on the back. So some of the tricycles we've been looking, they might have a safety harness, but they don't have brakes on the back. Now, some of the things I dislike about it. So for one, this thing does take up a lot of space. So we have a, uh, I would say mid-size SUV, but when we put the bike in the trunk, since it cannot be folded up like a stroller, so it, it will just have to sit as so in the trunk space. For us, I even had to take out the handlebar in order to uh, close the trunk. As the handlebar, even I shorten it, it, it will not not fit inside the trunk space. So yeah, it does take up quite a bit of space if you want to take it out for traveling. Now, another thing is there's so many parts with this. Now, let's say if you want to uh, push him around for a bit, and then all of a sudden, like if the kid wants to do paddling, you don't want to push him no more, then you have to unhook, disassemble a bunch of parts. So you have the handlebar, you have bolts and nuts. So if you want to take it out, make sure that you only set it in one single mold. Otherwise, it's just a hassle when you need to transform this pushing bike into a tricycle or a balance bike. And another thing about this bike that I find issue with is, uh, yeah, even though it's for age two to five, uh, but in order for your kid to really pedal this bike, the kid needs to be a little bit taller. So right now our kid is what, 35, 36 inches tall? and he can barely reach the pedal and the seat cannot be adjusted. So for him to pedal the bike, he, his leg needs to be much longer in order for him to actually pedal. So it's going to be a while before he be able to fully utilize this bike as it intended. So anyway, that's the take on this Velo Flipper. So if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.